So we're going to collect some data with the collector for ArcGIS app. And I've got it stored under my GIS group. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. What it looks like when I log in is this. I only have one, one feature service that's, that's editable. And I'm going to collect data into it. It's called tree mapping. Tree mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then it's going to uh, pull up a map of my current location. If I don't want a map of my current location, I can change that. But I'm going to map something in my current location. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to my current location. And I'm going to select the tree that is located right there where you see the satellite image. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that plus sign at the top of the map. See that plus sign? So let's hit that plus sign. And then, okay, what feature do you want to collect? And I'm going to select trees, which is exactly what I want. Let's tilt this just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and collect trees. And then I've got a whole series of attributes that I've set up ahead of time. For example, species, deciduous or evergreen, diameter, height, form, bark color, bark texture, woof, woof, leaf type, and condition. So those are the things that I've got listed as attributes. When I set up the database, that's what is listed there. That's what I created uh, for the fields in my geodatabase. So I'm going to go ahead and collect species. And in this case, the species is a blue spruce. So then I can go ahead and say done. And now see, I've got blue spruce in there. The next field, deciduous or evergreen. I've got a pull down menu on that one, indicating whether it's deciduous or evergreen. So I'm going to go ahead and say that is an evergreen. Now, the reason why I did that, I set up many of the fields with pull downs is because you don't want to be, when you're out in the field, you don't want to be typing a lot. You want to be able to have you or your students be able to select things as pull downs. So I'm going to go ahead and select evergreen there. Then I'm going to go to diameter. Now, here's where on all numeric fields, it's important to know what units you're working in. In this particular database, I've got it working in meters. So the diameter is actually, and the height is going to be 10 meters. It's a tall tree. The form, I've got that set up as a series of pull downs, conical, columnar, etc. That is um, going to be columnar. Then I've got bark color. Now this is where I, it's free form, so I can just go ahead and type in. So the bark color is going to be a gray. And that's, and then I say done. The bark texture is going to be rough, which it is. It's a blue spruce. The leaf type, that's needle. It's, it's a spruce, so leaf, leaf, needle for the leaf type. And the condition is going to be good. Okay, so that's all done. So now I've got all these things listed in my form. And now the last thing I want to do is take a photograph. Now, obviously, I'm inside right now. Uh, it's snowing right now, so I thought I'd take it from the inside looking out. So I'm going to go ahead and say add. I'm going to point it out the window. Take photo or video. I'm going to take a photo in this case. So there's my photograph, and there's my uh, my spruce is over there. And so snap that photograph, and that's all good. And then I'm going to say use photo, and I could retake it if I want. And then I could say done. So now I've got all of the fields as well as the photograph of that tree. And I see the latitude and longitude uh, of my location right now, which is about th uh, two meters away from the actual tree. So now I can go ahead and say submit. Now, if I don't want that location, I can adjust it on the map, but I'm fine with it right now. Submit, it's posting attachments, which means, remember the attachments in this case are uh, the photographs or the video. So. And then uh, that's all good. So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And that's good. So now I can see my satellite image. And I see that my tree has been collected on my spot. So if I go ahead and change the base, I can change the base map if I want to right now. Um, or I can change uh, a variety of other things. But I'm pretty happy with that. So what I've done is I've I've set up, an, set up an editable feature service, an editable citizen science generated map. And now I'm collecting data into that map using the collector for ArcGIS app. It's a beautiful thing, being able to collect data simultaneously 
with a whole group of students or a whole group of educators or ordinary citizens collecting data on not just tree height and tree species, but trash, pedestrian counts, litter, graffiti, um, water quality, weather conditions, and soil moisture, and so much more. All right. Now go out there and collect your own data using the Collector for ArcGIS app. Thanks. Let's go ahead now and take a look at what that looks like inside a web map. Now, remember, I collected data inside this map, and here is, let me scoot this down a little bit. This is what the web map actually looks like. So here is my web map. But you can see I've, I've collected data in other places on different workshop experiences. The one I just collected is the location I'm in right now, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom there. And in this uh, particular location, you know, I can change the base map since I'm zoomed in to a rather large scale. So now I can go ahead and zoom in, and you can see that that, that point that I took, uh, the data point right there is on this map, and I can go ahead and select that. And this is the things that I was just going through with you all. Um, here's my blue spruce, my evergreen, uh, and so on and so forth. And the, the photo that I took uh, just a moment ago is sitting right there inside this geo database as an attachment. You can see the window that I've taken it through. So there's off to the left a little bit is the blue spruce. There's another spruce that's sort of uh, off to the right. But... Awesome. So that worked. Basically, that and the other trees that I've got collected in here are all in this one single geodatabase. And you can see there's an edit button. I can even edit, edit and add features uh, right to the map here. I don't actually have to use uh, my device, my mobile device. But if I want to use my mobile device, I can if I'm out in the field. Or I can just, uh, in the lab here, collect uh, data inside this same exact web map that I've been collecting data in using the Collector for ArcGIS app. So we've been collecting data into one single web map, and that's going to be editable until I, as the owner of that map uh, and that feature service, turn it off. All right, thanks.